know, there was uh, once an atheist who wanted to, to debate with a scholar. So the scholar agreed. He said, look, we'll meet up at a certain time, a certain place, uh, so that if anyone wanted to attend, they can also attend. So when the time came, the atheist, he made his way to the venue. When he got there, people started to gather. To their surprise, the scholar didn't show up. So they decided to wait for him. They waited and waited. Eventually, the scholar, you know, he made his way. Yeah. When he came, naturally, the atheist was very upset. He started to tell him off, you know, we had a deal. Why were you late? Why this and that? What did the scholar say uh, in explaining himself? He said, I apologize. As I was making my way to the venue, there was a river in my way. And I couldn't find a boat to take me across. So I waited for a boat to pass by. But as I was waiting, something amazing took, took place before my eyes. The atheist was like, well, what happened? He said, as I was waiting, all of a sudden I seen these trees being cut from the bottom of their trunks. After they were cut down, a saw came and started to, you know, came flying in the air, started to cut the trees into planks. Then out of nowhere, nails came flying in the air, followed by a hammer. The nails, you know, the planks started to align themselves by the side of each other. The nails uh, aligned themselves perfectly. The hammer got to work. And eventually a boat was made before my eyes. So I got on this boat and then the boat took me across the river by itself. So the atheist can't believe what he's, you know, what he's hearing. He, he said to him, are you, are, you, you know, are you in your right mind? How do you expect anyone to believe this nonsense that you're, that you're speaking? So the scholar, he said, subhanallah. You find what I am saying to be so foolish. But yet, what you are saying, the fact that this whole universe with all of its detail and complexity has come out of complete nothingness makes perfect sense to you. <laughs> he made this point to him perfectly. SubhanAllah. And this look, really, this point, you know, the, the signs and the, uh, 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 the signs that we see all around us indicating there being a creator, these signs and proofs, we use it also in our daily lives. Yes. You have, for example, when a uh, detective shows up on a crime scene, he sees a murder weapon and he finds fingerprints on that murder weapon and he has witnesses that witness that crime take place. So all of the evidence is directing, me, uh, directing him to a certain you know, direction. It will be very foolish for him to disregard all of the evidence and say, you know, I don't take by it because I didn't witness it firsthand. Mm. So similarly, this whole universe that we see around us is indicating to us that there is a God. There is a creator. Just because you didn't witness the creation of the heavens and the earth, that's not enough of a proof for you to deny it altogether. Fantastic. You know, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran al-Kareem, uh, You know, does man think that he came out of nothing? Min or the other possibility is that he created himself. All of the, the both possibilities are irrational. You came out of nothing, that's irrational. Or you creating your own self is irrational also. Mm -hmm. There must be a creator that brought you into existence. Wallahu a'ana. If you really enjoyed this video, please support us by clicking on the links below. Give us a small contribution, it will go a long way inshallah. Visit our website, www.onepathnetwork.com. Jazakallah khairan.